Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physics Unification. In the last two videos, we discussed 3 marks and 5 marks topics from the chapter Electrostatic Potential and Capacitance. If you have not seen those videos, I already attached those links in the description box. Please go through it. Today, we can start with the topics Capacitors and Capacitance. A capacitor is a system of two conductors separated by an insulator. Capacitance of the capacitor can be defined it as ratio of charge Q to the potential difference V across its plates. Now what we have to see? Derivation of expression for capacitance of parallel plate capacitor. Then what do you mean by parallel plate capacitor? Here parallel plate capacitor which consists of two large plain parallel conducting plates which are separated by a small distance. Consider two parallel plates 1 and 2 which are separated by a distance d. One plate which carries positive charges on its surface, another plate which carries negative surface, negative charges on its surface. Here, electric field is uniform and which moves from positive to negative charge. And sigma be the surface charge density. Surface charge density. Now electric field due to uniformly charged uniformly charged infinite plane sheet. We know this derivation E is equals to the value of E is equals to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught by plate 1 and 2 net electric field becomes E is equals to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught which is by plate 1 plus sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught by plate 2 which is equals to the value of sigma divided by epsilon naught which is equals to q divided by epsilon naught into a in an uniformly electric field v is equals to e times the distance between the plates that is E into D. And we know value of E is equals to Q divided by epsilon naught into A into D. And we know E is equals to V divided by D. Thus, capacitance. of parallel plate capacitor C is equals to Q divided by V which is equals to Q divided by value of V is epsilon naught Q into D divided by epsilon naught into A value of V is Q into D divided by epsilon naught into A. Here value of Q, Q gets cancelled each other. So which gives the value of C is equals to epsilon naught A divided by D. This is the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor. And value of, we know value of E is equals to V divided by D. This is my equation. This one E is equals to E is equals to V divided by D and C is equals to epsilon naught A divided by D up to here which carries for 5 marks. 
combination of capacitors. Equivalent capacitance means the effective capacitance of the combination of capacitors that the capacitance of a single capacitor which produces the same effect as that of the combination. Here first what we have to see capacitors in series. Let us consider three capacitors C1, C2 and C3 which are connected in series. In the series combination charges of the plates Q are the same on each capacitor and the total potential drop across the combination is the sum of potential drops V1, V2 and V3 across the capacitors C1, C2 and C3. In series capacitors charge is same on each capacitor and total potential difference V is equals to the sum of individual potential differences V1, V2 and V3. This V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and we know C is equals to Q divided by V therefore V can be written it as Q divided by C then V becomes V1 becomes Q divided by C1 plus V2 becomes Q divided by C2 plus V3 becomes Q divided by C3 here Q is common then just take outside Q into 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3. And effective capacitance Cs is equals to Q divided by V. Therefore, value of V is equals to Q divided by Cs. Now compare equation 1 and equation Q divided by Cs is equals to Q into 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3. Q, Q is cancel each other which gives the value of 1 divided by Cs is equals to 1 divided by C1 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3. 1 divided by Cs is equals to 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3. For two capacitors, Cs can be written it as C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. That is 1 divided by Cs is equals to 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2. This is for two capacitors. For n capacitors 1 divided by Cs becomes 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus so on up to 1 divided by C1. To here this is for 3 marks or 5 marks derivation. Capacitors in parallel. This is also very important for 3 marks or 5 marks derivation. Let us consider 3 capacitors C1, C2 and C3 which are connected in parallel to the potential difference battery V. In this case, the same potential difference is applied across the capacitor C1, C2 and C3. But the plates charges Q which are distributed as Q1 on C1, Q2 as C2, Q3 on C3. Therefore, V is the same in this case in parallel capacitors and Q is changing. Here V is, a, v is same along C1, C2 and C3 but Q is equals to total charge Q equal to the sum of individual charges Q1, Q2 and Q3. Q1 is equals to C1 into V, Q2 is equals to C2 into V, Q3 is equals to C3 into V. Therefore, the total charge is the sum of individual charges along C1, C2 and C3 that is Q is equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3.
3 f of q is equals to c1 into v plus c2 into v plus c3 into v therefore q is equals to v is common in all the case just take outside and it becomes c1 plus c2 plus c3 taken it as equation 1 but in equivalent capacitor q can be written it as cp into v equation 2 therefore just by comparing equation 1 and equation 2 cp into v is equals to v into c1 plus c2 plus c3 vv let's cancel each other which gives cp is equals to c1 plus c2 plus c3 this is for parallel capacitors for n capacitors for n capacitors cp can be written it as c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus so on up to c yeah. For for n identical capacitors, each of capacitance C in series Cs is equals to C divided by n in parallel Cp is equals to n divided n into C. In series Cs is equals to C divided by n in parallel Cp is equals to n into C. And up to here, this is very important for three marks derivation or five marks which completes the important derivations from the chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance if you have any doubts regarding these concepts please drop a comment in a comment box stay tuned like share and subscribe my youtube channel physics unification thank you